guys. Thanks for coming. My name's Michael. How are you? I'm your contractor. I'm your builder for the, um, for the rest of the duration of the project. The purpose of this meeting is for us to just go through the contract um, step by step and for me to outline your responsibilities under the contract and mine before you sign it. A couple of weeks ago I sent you a copy of this contract. Um, did you have a read of it? No. Any question? We're did comfortable. What, because it's a standard contract? You haven't read it or understood it? Yeah, it's pretty standard. It's pretty standard? Okay. Well, just so before we sign, I've just got a pre-signing pre pre checklist I want to go through. After that, I'll ask you to sign it. Okay? Um, so, the under the contract, the contract period here, as you can see, is three months for us to do the whole project. So that means that... Um, from the time that you sign the contract until we complete is, is approximately three months. And the contract price as shown here, and you agree with that price? Yeah. Um, now, just gonna go through some of the clauses in the contract that are important. One of the thing is um, the progress claims. Now the progress claims are staged, which means that um, you can see here on this clause here that it states the stages of the progress claims and how much. The first, for example, the first um, progress claim is due when the slab's down. Okay, so once the slab's down, we'll send you an invoice. Um, do you know how long you're required to uh, the period before you pay the invoice, according to the contract? No? Two weeks. Two weeks, yeah. The contract, this clause here, states that you have to pay within two weeks. So as we reach these stages, I'll be sending you an invoice, then you have two weeks to pay under the contract. Notice that this, this part of the contract talks about penalties, that if you don't pay on time, then you'll be charged interest weekly. So we don't want to get to that stage. Obviously we need the progress claim so we can keep financing the job. So the idea is if you've got any problems with it, to give me a yell, but we'll send out invoices automatically we expect you to pay it within the time period in the contract. Um, now if uh, during the time there's any wet weather, this clause here talks about wet weather, and if there's any wet weather, um, we can claim it extension of time to the contract. So in other words, it takes three months for us to complete the job, subject to you know, reasonable weather. So if we're going to be delayed and we're not going to make this target, we're responsible under the contract to notify you of that. So we'll send you out a letter and, and liaison with you about that. Okay. Um, this contract here, uh, this course here, sorry, talks about variations. Now variations is an alteration to the contract. Say for example, we get through the contract and you guys would like to change a window or put in a new door or what have you. There is a set procedure you must follow. And the procedures outlined here is that the first thing you do is contact us to see if we want to vary the contract because we're not obliged to. Where possible, we will um, cooperate as much as we can to assist you with that. But what we'll find is that you will have to notify us in writing um, once you've done that, we'll come out and we'll discuss with you exactly what you want. We'll draw up the specifications and we all agree upon it. Um, then I'll price it for you. It's very important that you're priced. Once it's priced, then uh, we'll go ahead with the variation and we'll adjust the contract price. Okay, that's according to this clause. And if it's a major variation, we may ask for an extension of time on the contract because it may take us longer to do, do the job. So really we don't want too many variations. So you've gone through the plan with the architect. So we want to make sure that you're happy with everything. Um, now's the best time to, to make any changes rather than as we go through the job. Communication. Um, the way we communicate uh, under, the, our, under the contract and our policies and procedures is that we will have fortnightly meetings with you, either over the phone or on site. Um, we will um, have minuted meetings. We'll go through the program. But basically, if you've got any questions as you go through the contract, I'm the person you, you liaison with. Okay, so I'm the person that you talk to and you'll have all my details. Um, so it's very important that we keep the communication process open. Now, disputes, under the contract, it talks about dispute procedures. Basically, there's two types. There's one about money, um, which there's no need to go into now, but to, to realise that there is a dispute procedure you have to follow depending on the type of dispute. If it's a dispute relating to um, workmanship, then the procedure under the contract is, first of all, you contact us, we have a site meeting and discuss it, mm -hmm. and then if there's any issues, um, with the we try and resolve it there, obviously. If we can't resolve it there, the procedure under the contract is then 
we have to go to the Office of Fair Trading and put in a, a, a dispute um, uh, claim under the contract. But hopefully we, won't, we don't want to get into disputes. So the idea is we give good communication, less disputes. OHS, just to let you know, under the OHS, we don't want you going onto the site. Although you own the prop, the land, uh, while the building is being um, built, we're responsible for the occupation, health, and safety of everybody. So you're not, um, you cannot go onto site unless you're on there with you to take you through it, because we have to orientate you. There's a set procedure we have to follow with OHS. So if you're driving past, you you really shouldn't go in and just on the site, and definitely don't go on the site on your own on the weekends, or bring friends or family to have a look. Okay, if you'd like to do something like that, give me a yell and I can I can set it up for you, but you must do it first with me. Any questions so far? Okay, just uh, want to quickly talk to you about the program. This is a good opportunity for us to discuss how it's going to work. In the initial stages of the buildings, you'll see it go up really quick. You'll see the slab go down, frames go up, all these people on site, and all of a sudden it's bang, locked up stage. Now, lock up stage is when you basically need a key to get in, but there may, may be nothing inside completed. What I'd like to warn you is that that doesn't set the pace of the job necessarily. A lot of people think, oh, it's gone up really quick, it's going to be finished before time. Once it's at lock-up stage, and there's a lot of other trades we have to coordinate, more trades we have to coordinate, so it might mean there could be up to a week where there won't be anyone on your site. So don't worry, we haven't forgotten about you, that's only because we're moving our trades around different projects. Again, under the communication, if you've got an issue and you want to know what's happening, give me a call. But if there's any major delays, as I said earlier, I'll let you know. So that's how the program will work um, through the process. Um, uh, do you have any other questions on what I've covered so far? Okay. Uh, if you wouldn't mind just signing my checklist here, just so you, you've read and understood the pre-construction, pre-signing meeting, and then we can go on and sign the contract. Okay, so thank you. So now it's the contract signing stage. So if you just initial each page.